We live in a world where you can order footwear off your laptop, have them delivered to your front door the very next morning. Well, how about living in a world where your footwear is made right in front of you and done in less than an hour? JC is live at the Magic Convention with all the details. JC. Mercedes, this is amazing. Meet Scott with Keen Footwear. Nice to meet you, Scott. Hello, hello. Tell everyone real quick about Keen and your brand. So we've been around 15 years. We're based out of Portland, Oregon and we build outdoor and lifestyle shoes. And the thing we're talking about today is you have um, the, we have robotic shoemakers, what we have here. Yep, you're looking at the world's smallest shoe factory. It can actually build a full pair of shoes in under eight minutes and you can customize it. You can pick your colors, you can pick the sole, you can do everything. Now, how is this going to come in handy down the road? Why, why do we want to get shoes made so quickly? We are pushing the boundaries on same day manufacturing and customization. You could walk into our store Say there's a Lakers game tonight. You can pick purple and gold shoes, put in your order, go get a cup of coffee. By the time you're done, your shoes are ready to go. I'm not going to get my hand in there because I don't want to get stitched <laughs> in there because you told me the robot is unforgiving. Yep. But this is, you know, you go back, what, 100 years ago, we had the cobbler making these shoes. Yep. And you guys have a robot making shoes. I've got the finished product here. Yep. And, and you guys are known for your outdoor and hiking gear. Yes. Comfort wise, t tell me about the robotic made shoe. These are unbelievable. So it's made out of paracord, so it fits your foot. It goes with the flow. As you move, it moves. So if you have a big foot, it stretches. If you have a smaller foot, it shrinks. How many of these uh, robots do we have floating around here in the States? We only have two in the world. One in Tokyo, and you're looking at the other one. I know, Keen, I, I love your hiking gear, and you yep. guys just started making pants. Yep. Are you guys going to come out with a robot that's going to start making hiking pants on demand? <laughs> Maybe that's a few years uh, down the line, but right now we are focusing on shoes. I love, you can get in here, Marcel, the stitch work. I won't touch it. Trust me, Scott, <laughs> I won't touch it. But look at the intricacy of the needles going in and out, in and out. <laughs> and then when it's all said and done, let's go down here at the end. Yep. Because we have uh, we have our cobbler down here, and you and you 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 wrap things up here. Once the shoe is done, what exactly do you do down here? So once it comes off of the robot, it looks oh, like this. Oh. oh, she's not mic'd up. So explain the process. Yeah. Scott. So once it comes off the robot, it's about 85% finished. We hand it over to Nani. She finishes it up. She trims the rubber, cuts the cord. The rubber gets upcycled, and the cord actually gets donated to the Girl Scouts, where they use it to practice tying knots. That's awesome. How much longer till my shoe's done? We have about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. All right, we got to yeah. send it back to the studio. So I'm going <laughs> to stick around for my shoe, size 10, right? Yep, sounds good. Scott, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Courtney and Mercedes, let's send it back to you guys. My favorite colors are pink and purple. I'm just saying, if you want to make me a pair of shoes.